Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Yunus Academy. So guys, over here in this particular video, we are going to talk about the different types of the material handling systems. So these are the special purpose ones, which does not require any kind of human interference. So these are nothing but the AGVS, which can be also called as the automated guided vehicles system. So now over here in this particular video, we are going to talk about the why do more of the industries are prone to adopting this AGVS systems. Why do we need AGVS? What are the benefits of AGVS? What are the types of AGVS? And what are the different modules in the AGVS systems? So guys, please watch my video till the end. And guys, if you're new to my education channel over here, Engineers Academy, kindly consider subscribing because your subscription really motivates me to make more of such educational videos. So guys, let's begin with our today's topic of AGVS. So first of all, what is AGVS? So the abbreviation which is used for the AGVS is nothing but the automated guided vehicle system. So these are the special purpose industrial robots which used to carry the finished goods, raw material, semi-finished goods from one location to the another location without human interference. These are the you know fully automated systems which is used for material handling. So now these AGVS systems are uh, used as some sort of the magnetic tape or else is uses some sort of the wires some sort of the sensors such as the optical sensors visual sensors to travel from one location to the another location the path is you know predetermined or it is preset by the software which is there or by the software module which is there also some sort of the agvs systems are like radio controlled so this uh, like uh, uh, operator is sitting far away from the AGVS which can control this particular AGVS system which he will set a predetermined path on the uh, on his uh, control module and the AGVS system will move along with the material. So this is how the AGVS systems travels from one location to the another location also carries the raw material finished goods from one location to the another location. So also this type of the AGVS are adopted in almost every industry type such as in a food industry in e-commerce industry in supply chain management it is used also in automobile sector like there is a, you know major like application to carry this uh, raw materials from one location to an another location such as the automated forklifts which are used over there in uh, uh, like uh, automotive industry also in supply chain management consumer goods and uh, warehousing so this agvs plays a very much important role uh, in uh, material uh, handling now there are some of the different types of the agvs systems these are automated carts unit load agvs tugger agvs and automated forklifts so now let's check out the first one that is the automated carts so these are the simplest form of the agvs as you can see over here so these are the you know smaller vehicles which is smaller in size and which can travel over the longer distances and carry uh, you know very much uh, less like unit weight so these are called as the automated carts such as the trolley wheels so this is also a different type of the agvs which is you know widely adopted by a lot of industries due to the cost which it, this type of the agv is you know very much economical and it can carry you know uh, over the longer distances and uh, like the weight capacity weight carrying capacity is on a quite higher side so this is the reason this type of the agv is you know adopted uh, by most of the industries if we go on a higher side here comes the unit load agv this type of agv is having high cost as compared to the previous one and this this agv is you know quite bigger in size to carry the uh, finished goods or as semi finished goods from one location to the another location this is typically seen in the automotive industry moving ahead next is the tugger agv so it is a form of a chain where this uh, the driver is there and the rest are the parts just like a railway it is gets connected to the driver and then it follows that predetermined path so this type of the agv is suitable for the different types of the assembly operations so where that particular agv is constantly moving and the supply of the raw materials is gets continuously to all the workstations so this type of the agv is also used in the automotive industry so moving ahead next that is forklift agvs so these are you know these are the forklifts which can carry these are 
these are the design is very much simpler except it is fully automated so over here these kind of the forklift hvs are used in the warehousing you you can see this forklifts which carries a you know very much heavy load from one location to another location and these are the forklift hvs are remotely operated by using some sort of the radio frequencies and the cost of this forklift hvs are on higher side and uh, a skill uh, operator is required to operate this forklift type of AGV systems. Now let's talk about the different uh, types of the modules which are there in AGVS system. So now this AGVS system comes of uh, comes with the different types of the module. The first one is the mechanical module. So mechanical modules stands for the vehicle arrangements, its size, its weight carrying capacity, its overall dimensions and the design basically. So this is for more prone towards the mechanical part. The next part comes, the next module comes over here that is the software module or we can call it as a user interface. In more precise manner, we can call it as a host software. Now this host software enables that particular AGV to set its path, set its location from one location to set its acceleration, deacceleration, how much time it will take to like carry that particular amount of this particular load which is there in cages. From one location to another location it also calculates the distance it also calculates the time taken it also calculates the efficiency like in a particular day in a 24 hours or in a 12 hours how many numbers of this uh, uh, like uh, distance get traveled due to this agva systems and also it calculates the efficiency also and this particular software module this type of the interface like provides an operator to like operate this AGVs remotely to control AGVs remotely from one location only to monitor all of these AGVs also it you enables us to monitor the different types of the materials which is located at the different sections in case of warehousing so now the next module is nothing but the power module over here this particular AGV systems runs on a battery now this battery can be of lithium ion battery or else the cadmium, nickel cadmium type of battery. Some sort of the AGVS works on the fuel cells also or else inductive power. So these are the batteries having different amount of the capacity based upon this uh, size and this is you know, this is a, a factor which, which uh, typically varies depends upon the manufacturer to manufacturer. So also when this particular AGV is not in use, when it is this AGV vehicles are in ideal position then that AGVs are gets connected to the charger where it is fully charged or charging charging time based upon the its model type and it is stated by the manufacturer only well uh, that was all about the AGVs its types and modules now let's talk about the what are the different benefits of this AGVs so first benefit is the accountability we can rely on this AGV systems in the in case of humans there might be some sort of the errors which are which can occur there, there was the probability of the errors in case of humans but over here there are no probability there is the probability is zero over here in case of the AGVS to less chances of errors over here in case of AGVS. Also these are the AGVS which are repetitive in nature and the like due to the repetitive movement these are you know highly precise and accurate so over here we are getting high accuracy and high precision. Also over here the line balancing problem is solved due to AGVS. Uh, the material handling is you know quite flexible and uh, this material handling is quite more efficient we can say so this this is the reason the line gets balanced the production line does not affect due to material handling so this is the reason the line balancing is the like uh, you know very much smooth over here in case of agvs also this agvs like there are very less less chances of the material get lost or, or there are zero chances of the material getting lost over here also some sort of the AGVS comes with the optical collision sensors so this particular uh, sensors senses the like any object which is there in the path and it changes its path accordingly to uh, to get to the desired endpoint so this is the something is new in the AGVS and this optical collision helps the AGVS to carry out its function without any hassle this agvs provides more flexibility also we can set different paths for different agvs so there is a, some sort of a flexibility over here in case of agvs the cost of the co cost control is occur over here some sort of the agvs are less uh, costly that is economical and some high costly like uh, forklifts etc are high costly that depends upon the application and the usage type
This AGVS system can be used for the line balancing as well as for the kitting purpose and uh, for this uh, like assembly purpose. This can be used in the different forms and different uh, like aspects in the industries to carry out a particular uh, raw material finished goods, semi finished goods from one location to the another location. So that was the benefits of the AGVS and this particular AGVS is quietly adopted in almost every industry type, every industry from manufacturing up to the service industry, all the industries can adopt this AGVS with minimal cost. So guys over here in this particular video we have seen the AGVS, why do we need AGVS, what are the types of AGVS, what are the modules in AGVS and what are the benefits of the AGVS. So guys I hope you like my video, if you having any doubts, any queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my education channel Ingenious Academy. Thank you so much guys for watching this video.